Welcome to the NetSuite and Acellos One Warehouse Receiving Overview. In this demonstration, we will show how a purchase order is created in NetSuite and automatically downloaded to Acellos One Warehouse, how the purchase order is received into the Acellos One Warehouse using a wireless handheld computer, and the real-time record update within NetSuite. NetSuite remains the system of record. Purchase and sales orders are entered into NetSuite and seamlessly integrated with Acellos One Warehouse. Acellos One Warehouse optimizes the use of labor, space, and equipment to process the orders and transmit confirmations back to NetSuite. We will observe these processes in this brief demonstration. Before we set up a purchase order, we view the Receipt Work Center inquiry in Acellos. When we sort by today's orders, we note there aren't any expected purchase orders for the day. Now we create and release a purchase order in NetSuite. Vendor will be AL Systems. The item, 1200, or quantity, 10. The location we will receive the items into, Boston Warehouse. And we check the download to Acellos WMS box to confirm the purchase order will be downloaded to Acellos. Once the purchase order is saved in NetSuite, it is automatically sent to Acellos One Warehouse for processing. The objectives of the receiving process are twofold. First and foremost, accurately identify stock being received so the business has visibility into available inventory. Secondarily, and just as important, bring stock to the pick line as efficiently as possible to service customer orders. This may seem simple at first, however, different scenarios conspire to reduce accuracy levels and make receiving less efficient. Receiving complexity examples include a lack of consistency between vendor item and carton level markings. Some vendors may barcode items while others may not. Inbound containers may arrive floor loaded with multiple purchase orders of product interleaved throughout the container. Some products may require quality inspection. In the case of food distribution, product may need to be flagged during the receiving process for an extended QA hold period. And there may be various product categories requiring different hold period durations. Some items arriving at the receiving dock may need special treatment because they are on back order or there are special order items that need to be immediately routed to the pick line. All of these complexities lead to compromises in accuracy and efficiency. However, with a Cellos One warehouse, these compromises do not need to be made. Next, we will show a basic receiving process in a Cellos One warehouse. Navigating back to the Cellos One warehouse workspace, we again look at the Receipt Work Center and filter on today's orders. Refreshing the screen should show the new purchase order downloaded. The Receipt Work Center shows all the selected inbound orders and their statuses. And once we've highlighted a specific order, we can show the line item detail associated with the order. Next, let's receive the purchase order into the warehouse. In best practices warehouses, the majority of the user's interface will be with mobile handheld computers. These tools allow operators to automatically receive and process work instructions while capturing transactional data. The devices can work in either character telnet sessions or windows as seen here. These are examples of mobile devices, similar to a smartphone but ruggedized. Just like a mobile phone, the user interface has been specifically designed for the small screen. The functions on the device have been optimized to enable efficient warehouse operations with barcode scanning as the predominant user input. Accurate identification of inbound items in a warehouse is usually achieved through automatic identification of items and matching to their originating purchase orders. Scanning item and case level barcodes to identify products at the receiving dock usually eliminates errors associated with visual inspection and identification. Let's navigate to the receiving menu on a handheld device. Although there are many options in receiving to accommodate different scenarios where product will show up at the door, we'll focus on the most common function, which is standard or basic receiving. This function was designed so the user can receive against standard purchase orders entered into NetSuite. First, we identify the correct purchase order for the inbound materials. If we are receiving multiple purchase orders simultaneously, we can identify all of the purchase orders being received at this time. When we receive multiple purchase orders at the same time, we call this wave receiving. Also, multiple receivers can be assigned to a single group of orders, so product can be accurately identified, inducted, then staged for put away efficiently. To continue processing the receipt, we identify the line items on the inbound orders. Here we enter the product number we want to receive. We then enter the quantity of the units per pack size and the number of packs being received. Best practices warehouses will have all incoming pallets and cases labeled for efficient receipt. 
However, not all vendors will be able to provide compliance labeling. If labels are required for cases or pallets prior to putaway, they can be printed at this time by entering the number of pallets required. After we have received an item, we are prompted for the putaway location. Here we will put the product into a receiving staging location. Product putaway may be system or operator directed. Smaller warehouses might prefer to direct the stock handler to a pick location to top it up before the rest of the items are placed in a bulk storage location. Larger warehouses or those with more complex processes typically prefer a rules-based put-away process that may follow strict FIFO rotation by moving all product through an overstock reserve storage zone. This may involve direction to a staging location before put-away or to a specific set of locations. Many warehouses use a receiving staging location to serve as a buffer between receiving and product put-away. Receiving staging serves two purposes. One, it enables an efficient receiving process by allowing receiving operators to focus on accurate receiving and moving the product to a general staging location, rather than taking the time to drive into the warehouse and store the product. The second purpose of a receiving staging location deals with the material handling equipment. Typically, equipment used for receiving is different than equipment used for put-away. In this case, the receiving staging location serves as the transition point to allow the use of the correct type of equipment for the job. Many warehouse operations prefer to consolidate cases onto a pallet, then label the pallet with a license plate. The license plate then becomes the identification for the movable unit throughout the warehouse, up until selection for picking. A license plate pallet can hold multiple or a single item. License plate pallets helps improve material handling efficiencies. Acelos can also manage lot and serial number capture requirements. For example, food items are typically lot controlled and require tracking for compliance purposes in case of a recall. Some food items require traceability in the form of country of origin or specific farm name and location. Other items, such as computer and telecommunications equipment, may be serial controlled and require the tracking with serial numbers on each unit throughout the warehouse. A Celos 1 warehouse can track up to 10 simultaneous product attributes. Once the purchase order is received, we may navigate back to the Receipt Work Center in Acelos and refresh the list to see the purchase order number is no longer available in the warehouse. Let's now take a look at the item we put into the warehouse. There are different ways to do this. Here we look at the Product Work Center and then Inventory Detail View. You can see the item's quantity and location listings. If we click on the Log tab in the Work Center, you can also see all activities performed against this product with a time and date stamp. Once the receipt is processed in the warehouse, the transaction is uploaded to NetSuite. We can then view the purchase order status driven by the real-time system updates. This concludes the NetSuite and Acelos One Warehouse Receiving Process Overview. For more information on Excellus One Warehouse for NetSuite, contact Stan Chu at stan.chu at excellus.com or call 603-682-4442. For all other Excello supply chain solutions, or if you use an ERP other than NetSuite, contact info at excellus.com or call 877-805-8388.